hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another tutorial it's me ij and here is ij designs this is a quick one but before then i'll say a very big thank you to all my subscribers my old and new subscribers you guys are welcome thank you for supporting me i appreciate all your support your comments I appreciate them. I always read your comments. Thank you very much for your support. So now I'm making a male trouser. So I'm trying to fix the pocket. So I said, let me share it with my family so that we can now learn how to insert the pocket, the trouser pocket. It's very easy and simple to achieve. Now, the first thing is to cut out your panels, the front and the back panel of trouser you have to cut it out and the pocket you have to insert it on the front panel so now let me show to you guys how you can achieve that how you can insert your pocket the easiest way to attach your pocket to the front panel of your trouser you can also use it to attach your pockets on a skirt you can also use that but mainly it's for trouser so now this is my back panel. I have not fixed it. This is the back panel. That's the back panel. So it's not the back panel we are working on. We are working on the front panel. So let me show to you guys. I have already drafted one. I have already insert Do you see it? This is one side of the pocket. Do you see how it is? And that's the back. Do you see it? Do you see how smooth it is? Do you see it? How smooth the pocket is? That's the pocket. Do you see it? You can insert. That's where to put your hands. Do you see it? And you bring it out here do you see it so this tutorial is to insert this pocket how you can achieve this how to sew it to your trouser to your first to the front panel of your trouser how you can sew it in so that is the way i want to show to you guys how you can sew this so now first after cutting out your trouser the, you take the front panel you will take the front panel, the two of it, the front facing each other, that is the two of it. I'll show you how to achieve this cut. That is how you can cut it out like this after cutting it out. So the first thing I do is to measure my inches. Now take the pocket, that is the pocket. That's the pocket. I also cut it out so take this pocket this pocket is the length is 15 and the width is 14 that is 7 inches if you fold it 7 inches and the length is 15 and the width is 14 just take one of the piece remember you are going to have it too the one that we have already fixed is one of it so this one take the one and take the other panel of your trouser so you match it right side facing each other like mine now do you see it but i'll show you how to cut out this piece so guys now you take the one of the front panel and you take the pocket that is the pocket this is the pocket and this is one of the panels from the hip side that is from the hip side not from the curve side from the hip side then you measure three inches on the upper part this is three inches you measure three inches here from here you measure three inches do you see it from here, you measure 3 inches and the length, you measure 7 inches and you mark on it. You mark on your 7 inches. 
So from this three inches, you connect to the seven inches with your ruler or with your curve. Now you connect from the three inches to the seven inches. Now you connect it. After connecting it, then you cut it out. Then you cut it out, which I have done. Do you see it? So the three inches and seven inches, I have cut it out, which is this. So the next thing you have to do after cutting it out to get the length so that your hand can enter inside freely. That is why you go by three inches and seven inches and you connect it. You can use your hip curve. You can cut it straight any way you want you cut it. So after that, after the cutting, then the pocket, that is the one to use as the pocket, you have to also a little bit of gum stay so to make it a little bit thick. Do you see it? You make a little bit thick. Now, you take them, you take the front and the back, that is the one you have cut, then you place it together. Do you see it? Now, I'm going to sew it with half inch. I'm going to sew it. So, watch. So, let us sew it. So, now place it on your machine. Sew it with half inch. So now let's sew. You sew it half inch. Take it gradually. Now you can stitch. Do you see it? Now I have sewn it. Do you see? I have sewn it. Now you also notch. Notch it. You now notch it. After notching it, then you turn this side that you sew. The allowance turn it to the turn it to the pocket side and top stitch. To the pocket side, you top stitch it to look flat, to look nice. Now I have sewn it. Do you see it? So the pocket side you have to top stitch it. Do you see it now? So after top stitching it, the next thing you have to do, remember, while sewing, we sew the right side facing each other. Now we are not going to sew it right sides facing each other. Then the pocket you have to face the wrong side. You sew from the right side. Do you see it now? Now the pockets you are going you are going to sew from the right side. That's the right side. So you close it up in this form and you now come from here that is fixed. Do you see from here? Come down by half inch. Don't sew exactly here. Come down by half inch. Why? So that you when you now sew, you cut it open for you to also get the allowance to sew the back and the front panels together so let us try it so now take your part to your pockets the right side you sew from the right side do you see it now that's the right side so i'm going to start sewing it from here that is that's the where the pockets ended at the panel so i'm going to come down I'm going to come down by half inch. So I'll start sewing it from here, half inch. And here I'll come in also by half inch to sew it. So come, I came down from half inch and I'll start sewing it here from half inch. I'll now close it up. So let's sew. So that's the pocket. 
Remember, we are sewing from half inch down and we go in half inch. So now we'll sew it, top stitch. Then we start sewing. When we come to this place, at the down the hem, we are going to curve it. We are going to curve it. We are not going to sew straight. We are going to curve it. So we are going to curve it when you come down to this. So now let's go. So now guys, we are going to curve it. Do you see it? You don't sew it straight, but you curve it. Do you see it? We curve it, so we are going to trim off this. We are going to trim off this. Do you see it now, guys? We have curved the edge here. You don't have to sew it straight. We have curved it. So the next thing we have to do now is to notch here open so that we can turn it. So here, we are going to notch it open. Do you see it? That is where we came down by half inch and also came in by half inch to sew the, the pocket. We now cut it open. So now we have cut it open. The next thing we have to do is to turn the pockets from inside out. Now turn your pockets. Turn your pocket from inside out. That is, do you see it? Now we've turned it inside out. So after turning it inside out, the next thing to do is to top stitch it for it to be firm so that it will not open or get tear. So now we are going to top stitch it. So now we top stitch our pockets. Now guys, we have top stitch our pocket. Do you see it? So now that's the way it's going to be. Do you see it? That's that's our pocket. See? That is our pocket. So guys, that's the pocket of the trouser. So now the next thing to do is for you to up after you have turned it and top stitch it, then you now turn it in this form. Do you see it? So that is the trouser. So after turning it, now you now, this is the pocket and this is the panel, the front panel. So you now top stitch it from the front panel to here. From up here, you just give it a little top stitch. You go in by five inch or quarter inch, any inch of your choice, but preferably half inch. You now top stitch the pockets and the front panel together so that it not be shifting, it will be steady. So you have to top stitch it. If you don't do that, your pocket will be shifting. But when you top stitch it, it's going to be vast on the panel. So now let's top stitch the pocket to the panel.
while top stitching it make sure that the pocket is free that it doesn't get to the inside one so now you top stitch it to the panel cut off your threads so guys that's the pocket do you see it do you see our pockets do you see the trouser pocket so the next thing you have to do now is just to also top stitch a little bit here so that the pockets will be free when you are joining the back and the front it will not be shifting also top stitch, just give it a little line just half inch line here and also at the top fix top stitch the pocket with the panel until you fix your band to it so that if you don't do that it will be in this form do you see how it's going to be it will be moving but when you not top stitch it the pocket and the panel on the front it will be steady so now let's top stitch and i'll show it to you guys And also here, the pocket, just a little top stitch here. So guys, do you see it? A little top stitch here so that the pockets will be vast also. And here also you top stitch it until you put your band. Do you see after top stitching, it will not be moving about again. It will not be moving around. It will be steady. And also here you top stitch it. So now guys, this is the way to fix the pocket of a trouser you can also use it to fix your skirt the pocket of a skirt you can also use it to achieve that if this tutorial on how to achieve this trouser pocket has been helpful to you do you see it your hands do you see it so if this tutorial has been helpful to you please give me a giant thumbs up like share and comment on my videos and if you have not subscribed consider subscribing I love you guys and I'll continue to show you how to achieve one or two things in sewing. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.